suppose we consider the same block kept on a plane but we are applying force at an angle greater than 90 degree to the displacement now somehow the displacement is towards right maybe because of some velocity that it already has gathered because of some other force by some other agent and after that you have applied you are you are actually applying force in this direction so this angle theta is an obtuse angle but when we apply this force the body continues to move towards right the displacement is still towards right now in that case if we again break the force into component f cos theta and f sin theta now f sin theta is going to have no role in the horizontal motion and f cos theta is towards right and this left sorry and displacement it's towards right now in this case if we directly use the formula of work work is f vector dot s vector that is fs cos theta now in this we we know the value of force we know the value of displacement that's okay and cos th theta also we know so cos theta but theta is greater than 90 degree and in second quadrant the value of cos is negative so this num this is a negative number that makes the whole work to be negative the whole work comes out negative in these cases when the angle between the displacement and force is greater than 90 degree. Now we'll understand what this negative has. This, this has some implication and significance. The significance is that the work is actually not done by this force, but the work, work is not actually done by this force, but the work is done on the agent causing, which is generating this force. For example, suppose, suppose you are pulling a rope in a tug of war and actually you've been dragged by the other group you have been applying force on this rope towards yourself towards right but what's happening the rope is not moving towards right even though you are applying force towards right but you have been dragged you have been dragged towards the other group so although you are applying some force but you yourself is having a motion towards right your velocity is going to increase gradually so what's happening effectively is you are not doing any work instead the work is being done on you because you're going to have increased kinetic energy gradually so your energy is going to increase that means work is being done on you and not the other way around so that's what negative because work we are calculating the work done by this the, by the agent which is causing this force we are calculating that always we calculate work done by the force i mean actually it means that we are calculating the work done by the agent which is applying this force but since that agent will be dragged by this body which is having a motion towards right so the work will not be done by the agent but the work will be done on the agent because energy will be transferred to the agent so the, so the work by the agent would be negative because the work is actually being done on the agent so that's what the significance of this negative work is whenever an agent is having a negative work that means it is not doing work instead work is done done on it so that's what negative work means fine similarly if you're having i mean the same case if you're having a inclination inclined plane the body is kept on the inclined plane it is coming down under the force of gravity and if you're trying to pull it up but you're not being able to pull it up and the displacement is still downwards and the force you're applying upwards then the angle between the displacement and force is 180 degree and in this case again the work done would be negative i mean if if the angle of force and displacement is greater than 90 degree the work will be negative and and the most familiar and common example of this is if we throw a ball or any body for that matter upwards earth pulls all the body downwards all the time whether the ball is moving upward or the ball is moving downward the force of gravity is always towards the core it's always towards the center of the earth so mg will always be acting downwards so if the ball is going upward the displacement the displacement is an upward direction the displacement is towards up the force is towards down the angle between displacement and force is 180 degree so the work by the earth by by the agent causing this force which is earth in this case 
would be negative. If we use simple formula of work, work is force vector dot displacement vector. So work is fs cos theta. Theta in this case is 180, cos 180 is minus 1. So work would come out to be negative. Now there will be situations in which work done will actually be 0. And if we just see the formula of work, work is f vector dot s vector which is f s cos theta. Now work will be 0, either the force is 0. When the force is 0, I mean, there will act, naturally there will be no work. So we will not consider the, consider the situation in which force is 0. When force is not 0 and work is 0, that means either displacement is 0 or cos theta is 0. If we, if we are pushing a wall and the wall is not moving, although we will get tired after some time, but still we'll, we, we have not generated in any output. So our work done is actually zero. When there is no displacement, the work done is zero. Now, interestingly, even though there is some displacement, but if cos theta is zero, cos theta is zero when theta is 90 degree. Suppose you have tied a string to the stone and you have been moving that stone in a circle like this. Now this is your hand, you are applying some tension in the string. So you are applying some force on the stone through that string and that stone is moving in a circular path. Now in a circular path we know that the velocity is always perpendicular to the centripetal force which we studied in the circular motion. Now displacement is always in the direction of velocity. At any particular moment, if velocity is in this direction, then displacement at that particular moment and in the mo moment just after that would be also in this direction. So displacement is actually perpendicular to the force. So in, in these cases, the work done will be zero. Even though your hands will get tired after some time, but in the physical sense, we don't consider any work to be done and there, there are reasons for that because we'll understand because whenever this is the case actually the stone is going to come back and back to the same position and if you look at one time period the displacement net displacement of this body will be zero so if we are just concerned about how much change you have brought about in one time period effectively you will have brought no changes so by the definition of the work that we have adopted, the work done by you will actually be zero. So in these cases, when the velocity is perpendicular to the force, then actually the displacement will also be perpendicular to the force at any given moment. So then the angle theta that we have been using in the definition of the force in, in, of the work will be zero. So the work done will be zero.